All right, moving on now to all the school levies. We begin with Bellbrook Sugar Creek Schools once again putting a levy on the ballot there. It is a 4.9 mil levy for seven years. Their levy has failed three times in the past two years, but as you see here tonight, a different story. This time it wins 53% to 47%. For more on this, uh, two news reporter Kristen Eskow is live in Sugar Creek Township with the latest on tonight's vote. Yeah, Mark, I just spoke with the superintendent about 45 minutes ago, and he told me about how he believes this is great news for the students and teachers here. It's the first time since 2015 that the district has passed a levy, and it was the fourth try in the past two years to get a new levy passed here. The levy had been a divisive issue for voters in the Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District. I support our schools, and I think they do a good job with our money over the years, and so... I think they had a reasonable request. When I was at Bellbrook, they had like lavish facilities. Like they have the money that I feel they don't need any more. But after three failed attempts over the past two years, this time voters approved the levy, which the district says was tailored to community feedback. The 4.9 mil emergency operating levy will run seven years. The district says it will generate $3.2 million annually and cost taxpayers in the district about $171 a year per $100,000 in appraised property value. Feeling totally, totally ecstatic here, just extremely pleased with, with the results. Superintendent Doug Kozad says the levy's approval puts the district's finances in a much better place over the next few years, allowing the district to bring back some positions and programs that had been previously eliminated. That includes the K through 5 STEM program, 31 supplemental positions for activities and athletics, and two librarian positions. I think the message goes out to the whole community that we need to, to come back together. We need to be unified. You know, the, the school district is a great reflection of our community. And I asked the superintendent if any additional cuts or levies would be needed over the next few years, despite this levy getting passed tonight. He told me anything like that would be, quote, far off into the future. So he tells me this levy will give the district the financial stability it needs over the long term. For now, we're live in Sugar Creek Township. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.